Hey YouTube, this is Jake with the Garb Rotors back with another awesome Pokemon video today. We're here with Charles, Seth, and Ben, and we're doing a Rono Cometa forecast on Kahoot. This video is inspired by Seagro's meta forecast that he did on Kahoot. We have 20 questions, and I forgot to enter. <laughs> nice. Right, what do you think will be the most popular deck? Oh, um. Okay. So who oh, wow. voted for Zoro Control? That was me. Who else? I was uh, other. Me too. Wait. I think people. My my stance on this is I think people will be scared to play Zoro Control because it's a deck that takes a lot of brain power, Big and three. I don't think people want to play it for nine rounds straight. Um. So I think people will play Buzzwall the most because it probably is the best matchup against um Control. Okay, and then yeah, uh, yeah. Seth, why did <laughs> Seth? Why did you say what you said? So I want Zoro Control because it's like very definitively the best deck in the format right now because like Oranger is very nearly busted and like most decks don't have a definitive way to beat it so it just kind of straight up wins half the matchups mm -hmm. and like uh, checking out the deck just kind of wins the rest of the matchups. Mm -hmm. Uh, ben, why yeah, did you I say Zoro Control? I also don't think it's as difficult as people think. I just think it yeah, has no, long really game. Once you just start looping a Rangaroo, it's, like, not very difficult to lose. Yeah. Or not very difficult to win. So you think this is the most popular deck? But the most people are going to come yeah, playing Zora Control? Okay, next question. It just won. Yeah. It's right, just okay. gonna... Charles is winning. <gasps> I'm winning! <laughs> what deck do you think will win the event? So like, the best deck? Okay, oh, who wow. said, who said okay. Buzztails? I said Buzztails. Uh, why do you think Buzztails will win the event? Because it's like basically the only thing that like has a matchup against Zoro Control. Mm -hmm. And Charles, and why'd you flip your vote? Um, because it's the best deck in the format. And I think a, a good Zoro <laughs> Control play. Yeah, I agree It's straight that. up the best. That's not what I said. You guys are acting like I'm going against my word the last question. That's not what I said. I didn't say it wasn't the best deck. I did. I said it wasn't going to be the most played deck. Uh huh. Well, if, I think if Buzzwell is the most the played deck. Well, first of all, to win a regional, that... you automatically have to be on Team Dead Draw Gaming. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they're all going to play Zoro. <laughs> so I think Jimmy Pendarvis will win with Zoro Control. Okay, that's pretty specific. Well, is... see if well the Buzztails are just going to fight Zoro Control over and over again. But a good Zoro Control can probably beat a good Buzzwell. Yeah, Zoro Control a actually. A good Zoro Control player can be like well, nine. Not anything. every Zoro Control player is gonna be a good Zoro Control player. But this comes That's to winning the event. Is there gonna be a ton of people that Zoro Control. Control will win. No, then... and this is what wins the event. It's clearly broken, and unless yeah. um, Pokemon bans a Rangaroo, it's going to be the BDA after a while. Just okay. put in a Rangaroo and Buzz Tails. <laughs> that doesn't automatically right. win you. We're going to the next question. All right, Charles okay. still in the lead. Zoro Control is so boring to play against. All right. Yeah, of the really hyped decks, which is place. the worst? Oh, going which is into the, the worst? Event. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's gonna freaking click the deck Gardevoir. is all. The deck can't win. All right. Gardevoir is pretty decent. Giraffe a rig. Hey, ben, Done. we're gonna start with you. Why is Alone Eggs the worst meta deck going into this event? It just can't win against anything. <laughs> that's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. It's just yeah, everything playing. No, not only Buzzwall, but Control and Buzzwall are playing Girafferig now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Girafferig is just a huge deck. problem. Same with Malamar, to be honest. Like, yeah, both of them struggle. And all right, so that's it's unanimous there. Alone it's just sucks. a mediocre. It's, it's such a fair deck. deck. Like it doesn't. It's just so fair. It's like, not supposed to break anything, and that makes it bad. Yeah. Okay. Charles still in the lead. Right. What are you personally playing to the event? If you're willing to share this info, or most likely playing to the event, if you still haven't decided. Uh, All right. Who said Zorark deck? Me. All right. Which Zorark deck? I'm playing Zorark like and rock. Why? Um, because I think of all the variants, it has the best chance against control. Because you play super aggressive while leaving a bench space for the Rangaroo with need be. You play super aggressive and take your six prizes really fast. Mm -hmm. And um, I think Zoroark decks are probably the best they've been since this format started. Yeah. 
So yeah, and plus I have the most experience with it. So. Okay, uh, Seth, what are you playing to the event? I literally have no idea, so I just clicked other. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Septile, because it's green. Yeah. And so is other. <laughs> yes. Obviously. Ben. Coincidence. <laughs> ben, Obviously. what are you playing? I'm gonna play Busted War. Over. Of you, you decided for sure over Lost March. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just have so much. Dude, why wasn't Lost March one of the options on what's the worst? I was deck? thinking about it, but I just decided to put Guard of War to see it if it. Should have been over, like, over Guard of War. Yeah, I know. If you have my list. Jacob just has my list. He understands. <laughs> okay. Should Orangaroo resource management be banned? Oh, man. This is gonna be... This is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who, who, no? who got who it wrong? Wait, I said, I said no. no. Alright, well, you, you got it wrong, <laughs> Seth. Why? You're bad, it's Really Seth. not. It's literally the wrong no, answer. <laughs> It's like okay, a, I let him explain. Wait, why should it not be banned? I don't know. Ask Franco. I'm just going with him. I don't why? see any reason it needs to be banned. Because it's fine. stupid. Don't listen to Franco. Yeah, listen listen to, to us. It's just like it's Lysander Trump card 2.0. Like, He's literally an ex member of the It's a win condition. Yeah. One of the win conditions is deck out. Orangaroo just doesn't let you do that. I'm better than Christian in every way. He's just an ex member of my <laughs> team. Okay, but this is not good, actually. More Garber's like, event than Charles, so... Alright, so, um, anyway, Seth was wrong. So Charles is bad. I don't need you guys oh. to explain why you're correct, yeah. because everybody already knows. Uh, Seth, now you're behind, because you somehow got the question wrong. I don't All care. Right. In Stage 2 decks, which draw support Pokemon do you run? Zebstrika or Swampert? That's a tough um. one. Oh, somebody didn't oh, even no. answer. <laughs> Wait, who didn't answer... I didn't answer. The time ran out. All right. Well, uh, who I chose Swampert? Yeah. Who chose the okay, wrong Ben? <laughs> ben. What? Wait. wait who, who chose what? Candy, who chose what? It says Actually, I choose Swampert. I choose Swampert. Dead. No, but why would you want to use rare candy on Swampert? Hey <laughs> guys, shut, <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Like you're committing much less, and it's much easier to get in play. No, let me. All right. So candies on Gardevoir. With Guys, Swampert, you have Rare Candy in hand, but not one of the other pieces. Or you have, like, the Pokemon in hand or an Ultra Ball and not Rare Candy, okay? Zeb Striker, you get rid of your entire hand and you have to draw four, okay? So you have to roll like, the dice. With Swampert, you can just trade, and you'll probably I've get never, to You're drawing three cards. I've never Jacob, really felt like discarding my hand wasn't no. worth it to draw the four God. cards. I'm trying to get you guys to stop arguing. All right. Ben no, but these two only. Are wrong. Why is Zeb Striker the play? <laughs> It's just a stage one. It's so much more consistent than Swampert. Okay. And you don't need to waste your rare candies on Swampert. And if your opponent knocks out your Mudkip or Swampert, then you have you need so much less to get another Zebstrika in play than a Swampert. Okay, now Seth. It's just like better in almost every way, pretty much. Seth, why did you pick Swampert? Because you're already a stage two deck. You're already playing rare candy. And you're teching in... The draw engine that's literally better than the most defining card of last format and okay. this format. And why is Ben wrong? <laughs> He's literally playing three cards to do discard draw four because it's playing only four cards it, to discard one draw so three. Good, no, it's like playing a second supporter during your turn. It's so busted. So is Swampert. <laughs> And then Charles, I'm assuming Swampert your is, answer. Discard one, draw three. That's like a TV reporter. That's it's, like yeah. not as good. Hey, Seth, uh, you Charles, I'm assuming right? your answer is like the same as Seth. Is My answer is Swampert. Okay. Okay. Pretty much the same. Isn't even a supporter. All right, next Ooh. question. Ben's winning. Yeah, but uh, I'm just saying when you're. Yeah, right. see, I'm correct, obviously. Right. Lysander Labs and Bicephalon? All right, who said no? I said no. Why? You play Choice Helmet instead. All right, that's your because you play Choice Helmet. Why would you play Choice Helmet and Blissephalon? I don't Because you're, you're already not really playing Choice Band, and then that way you can run more Ultra Space for consistency. Alright, and then who said- oh, of the people who- uh, Charles, why'd you say yes? Because it's a good card. But- And it's a- Yeah. <laughs> that's <I> not- <laughs> <laughs> that, That's all I got. Because it's just a good card. Is that the same And if you want to play ben? Choice Helmet, you just bump the stadium with the Ultra Space. Is that's that all? That's literally what I just said. Really? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> you're okay. you're proving my argument. 
What? No, I'm not. You play more. You can play more Ultra Space if you're not playing Lysander Lab. No, you I'm saying if you play like one, because you're not really playing. Tools I say you anything. play like one Lysander Labs. So if you wanna, if you want the choice helmet, if the choice helmet is that relevant, you just bump it, or you just don't play it. You just don't play it down. Okay, but like you have room for Ultra Space now. You already had room for Ultra Space. You had room for one Ultra Space with Lysander Lab in the deck. That's like not even. Okay. Let me pull up. What list are you talking about? Okay, yeah, we're moving on to the next question. <laughs> no, I want to discuss this. No, we can discuss it at the end. Okay, all right. All right. Is Lost March any good? Oh, God, no. All right, who said yes? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ben. <laughs> ben, did you say yes? I have the right list. <laughs> no. Right. No, it doesn't matter. Does okay, it, half the time it never does works. Does anybody have the right list? It's a list? gimmick. It's a have gimmick. Have you ever tested with my list? Guys, no, no, I have no, it, no. Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> no arguing. Not, I'm gonna ask, to I'm gonna tell who can talk, and they're gonna talk. Ben, okay. does anybody have the right list? I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So why are no you playing, why are you playing Gardevoir? Because I don't have a jump up. I, and I'm more comfortable with Gardevoir. So you're this is like the thing. I, I almost want to play Lost March just so that all you shut up about the game that. <laughs> you know what? Go for it. Play it in the cup. There's a cup on Sunday. Play it for the cup. Okay, I guess I will. Okay. If you don't cut, Wait, are we then you have to admit that Lost March is a terrible deck. That's just like not a good bet at all. <laughs> like, I could get just get unlucky and lose. If you do cut, I'll play Gardevoir for the rest of the season. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, um, And Seth. it has to specifically be my list, so you can't just play yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure, whatever. Right. <laughs> Seth, why'd you say no? So, I said no, because if you get a bad starting hand with that deck, you automatically lose. Mm -hmm. If you, you get a bad starting hand with that deck, you automatically lose. It's you like not an really have yeah, to set up deck more than as any soon as deck. freaking possible, and that like if you don't, it doesn't you're just too far behind. behind. It happens with bad lists, but not with good lists. <laughs> okay, but I don't care about your bad lists. Just be me and PTCGO, and it will never happen. Um, and then Charles, why do you say no? Pretty much the same reason as Seth. Okay, if you start with like a junk hand. You can't win. Like, I know that's kind of the same for every other deck, but it hurts this deck more than any other deck in the format. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you're taking so long to set up anyway. Right. I don't know. Well, My deck, like, hits 200 damage, turn 3, so I don't know how, if that's long, I guess. It's apparently long, according to you guys. Well, Cephalon does it so much faster. Why yeah, but play, Cephalon, would you would like, March guaranteed and it does every other turn, and it what takes makes two attacks. March better than any other damage-dealing deck in the format? It's well, it makes a one it better deck. And once you get once also, you get ten like, you get marks, smashed by like any deck playing Tapu Koko promo. Just, uh, answers his question first. Right. We're moving Lost on. March is better than other decks that do like this pretty much the same thing like Grand Bull. Like that's a, also a one shot one Kaiser deck. But Lost March is better than Grand Bull no, because not. it once you get ten Pokemon is not better than Grand Bull. Yes it no, is. No, it's not because what is it? Grand Bull has this thing called consistency. And Gramble's Gramble, and it's the most busted deck in the entire game. Gramble is McGargle, a one month of the Wait, can I just answer the question? Yeah, let Ben keep talking. He's the only diverse Can I just answer the question, and then you guys can rebuttal? Ben, you're wrong. So, thanks. <laughs> oh, sure. Lost Mark is better than Gramble, because once you get 10 Pokemon in the Lost Zone, you're always going to be doing 200 damage for the rest of the game. With Gramble, like, you, every single turn, you have to play your hand down. By the have... time you get ten lost mo ten Pokemon in the lost zone, you're already down three prizes. Like it happens lose. on turn three. Like what? They take a prize every turn. It's not hard. They're not taking well, yeah, but one prize. If they're playing GXs, then you just win. Hey okay, Ben, you could theoretically get some stupid busted starting hand and get your turn two set up. You're talking about, but you're not going to. I mean, I'm not saying turn two. Turn three is when you get it. Granbull is a better deck than Lost March. Agreed. That should be no, the next I, I don't agree. I think Lost March is better. I think Lost March is cool, but I think Granbull is like my favorite. It's a gimmick. Deck. I think it's a gimmick. Well, uh, Granbull is a gimmick too. 
Grimble's awesome. But Grimble's a, Grimble's a gimmick that works more. It's a bad gimmick. Lost March is a good gimmick. I, See, I, I like, don't... I'm okay with I this conversation like going on because it kind of involves Grimble. <laughs> Gramble's an important thing to talk about, though. Yeah, I don't, Actually, I don't want to talk about this I think that's going to be the most played deck. It's cheap. It's cheap and it's Not good. Anymore, but... It's still pretty cheap. I mean, I'm hoping Jacob plays it so I can steal, like, every card he owns for Buzzrock Tales. Wait, how much are Gramble's going for right now? I think, oh my like, God, two I bucks or something. I don't even know. Alright, next question. Alright, which Buzzwall variant? Why would you ever play Buzz Shrine? Well, I made it wrong. <laughs> okay. Alright, Buzz oh, Rock good. Tales. <laughs> Alright, so all of you guys voted for that. So first I'm just gonna it ask. Has the most options. Wait, why not uh, Buzz I'm Tales just regular? Say, I've never played Buzz Wall, but I'm just assuming that Buzz Rock Tales. You guys are not good at answering my questions. Why not <laughs> Buzz Tales? Can I answer? Yes. Buzz Rock Tales has many more options. That does not answer so why not okay, Buzz also, Tales. I'd like to say that Buzz Bowl Custom Catcher makes no sense because you're not putting Tails in that name, and that means you're <laughs> Custom Catcher. <laughs> All right, and then uh, why not Buzz Shrine, Seth? <laughs> I want to hear this from um, you. Because like Grambles a superior Shrine deck in the. Ah, game. I'm so happy to hear you say that. I like how you made Buzz Shrine not the right answer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 All right, Seth's on a. Uh, Emma, uh, yeah, ben Seth's on a. Nine and whoa. But Seth's on fire. Okay. See, the reason I'm in first is a low is muck too Washington big of a problem for Granbull to do well. Uh, yeah. Read all of the answer choices. <laughs> All right, who picked square? I picked square. <laughs> 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 why did I didn't you... even read it. <laughs> this is also another reason why Lost March is better than Granbull. Because you can tackle Lolan Muck against Granbull, and you can't do that against Lost March. Alright, so why is Square the correct answer, Seth? <laughs> so Square is the correct answer because, in theory, there will be other players trying to replicate the second place run. <laughs> oh, Smet. What second place run? Smet, no. They redacted it. Oh, the, um... The not finished run, sorry. The not finished 10 3 and 1 run. 11 3 and 1. He's 11, gonna go down the legacy of Jeff Kolnick as, right. as, on every site. They're just gonna redact his right. name and put him in a bunch of lines. But you guys said that yes. So you think Granbull's not gonna do well because of a little muck? Um, I think if yeah. they drop the little muck, you guys would be able to scoop up the cards. Mm -hmm. And Ben, you agree? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Right. Grumble's not necessarily right. bad. It's just easily teched against. Is, Vi is Gardevoir yeah. a viable deck? <sighs> <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> right. I mean, it's obviously viable. It got top 16 yeah, at that level. This one. I know, but... Yeah, so... but uh, ben, I thought he was playing an inferior list <laughs> with Swamp Earth. Yeah, but it's still Gardevoir. With one max potion. Yeah, the but right way to play it with a potion. So is not like, much of a question I, for this one? Just saying that it's viable. I'm, it's viable. Of it's course it's good. viable. Yeah. Well, Nine Tails makes I it. I think a 101 Solgaleo is actually insane. In the I'm deck, just so saying. I'm just well, using uh, the fact that it got top 16 as evidence that it's viable. Okay. Next yeah, question. Sure. Ben's down the lead. Do you think Coco Poison Barb has a chance at oh. this event? No. Well, I don't right, you all said no. So, the deck had a lot of hype going into LEIC, I think. I think it was, like, the shrine shrine deck most people were thinking about. Um, it didn't do well at LEIC. Why? Because people were playing Machoke. And people were playing Muck. Muck, Machoke, yeah. Control Heals, you know, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the deck just can't be consumed. A lot of things were just... They were playing right. one Max Potion and Guardi to counter it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <both laughs> and then the, the big brain lists were playing four, like Ben, obviously. Yeah, yeah Ben makes the LAIC been. playing four Max Potion. Can't but I wasn't it. at the LAIC, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Ben didn't want to, like... I, I, I don't think it's good. There right? weren't any big brain lists at the LAIC. 
Okay, so it, it's not good. I don't even think Survivor's like the best version of Sprite. Right, next question. Yeah, I agree. I don't Lost Blender in Grand Bull. That's a big yes. Why wouldn't you? Okay. Oh, who, wow. Who did not God, answer? Dang it, Ben, you didn't answer. I didn't answer because I'm kind of split. I don't know. I played like two games with Grand Bull and with Lost, Mo uh, with Lost Blender, and it was fine, but drawing a card is kind of awkward. Well, the list that got top four, or second place now, I guess. Um, the list that got second place at LIC did not play any Lost Blender. Neither did Tord. Yeah, neither did Tord. So why yeah. is it good? I forgot it made you draw a card. I switched my answer to no. My oh, bad. You forgot it made you draw a card? I mean, well, you could always I mean, use my cargo. Just cargo for like yeah, a the choice fact team. that it makes you draw a card, I think, makes it way it's worse. It's like good and bad depending on like. But if you have the optimal sure. two macargo setup and you just macargo, you. If use you the guys, first if you guys were playing Grand Bull, the it, the event, would you be playing Lost Blender in it? Probably right. not. Uh, I'd probably play Towards List. Towards yeah, List, yeah, I'd towards towards list just list. seems optimal. I Except mean, fitting in as Abstarco, because like that seems. It's good. so consistent. I really like the top four list. I've been having so much fun with it. I haven't, I haven't really looked oh, at towards list. Finals list. Oh yeah, the, the finals, finals list. list? Yeah, towards list doesn't have the striker in it. Right. I really like this up striker because it's the only way you deal with a lone muck. All right. Yeah. Choice helmet or band in Bicephalon. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, who said helmet? Who said helmet? I said helmet. Why? You don't need band for like anything but guardian. And the most popular deck in the format. Guardian's not the most popular Zorark. deck in the format. No, Zoroark. Zoro dude. control anyway. You need to one shot Zoroark. You beat Zoro control anyway. Dude, five, just five energy to knock out a Zoroark. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Four and a band is so much yeah. better. While they're discarding all your energies, you, have you one... outlive Zoro control anyway. But you're just gonna run out of steam. You're not gonna be able to take six prizes. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the problem with Blissephalon. That's why you need ban. If you beat it, so, why, I'm why, not why, why wouldn't you Zach? The deck anyway, but why... I think your Zoro control matchups manageable. Why did Zach lose to Danny in the top eight? He wasn't playing energy switch. Because Zach's a cheater. <laughs> and he couldn't cheat on the <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't playing at zero out of ten. No energy switch. I, I don't understand. Like, yeah, no, don't if you're like playing energy, energy switch, switch, you're like perfectly like, fine. Actually just amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, we're moving on to the next question. Ben still in the league. All right, number fifteen. Burger King. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. Thanks. I gave you guys time to think about your answer. <laughs> Alright, who chose square? <laughs> <laughs> you chose square, Seth? Yeah, this why? Is um, because it's green and set time. The subtitle's green. <laughs> and so is lettuce. Yeah, so is lettuce. Alright, so Seth wins. Alright, but uh, Ben is still in the lead. Right, who oh, will yeah. win a money match? Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 All right, who said Team Poggers? <laughs> I said Team Poggers. Figures that comes from Team <laughs> I didn't like how you made it incorrect. <laughs> both of the new recruits on Team Poggers voted against I us. Both because of these Alex Spetna will supply all of Team Clean with my cargos. But he doesn't own my cargo, silly. Yes, he does. All right, but uh, Seth okay, is the only correct answer. We just kind of like make Nick watch, and then we win. <laughs> we just get like any person with eyes to come and stare at their entire team. <laughs> right. So Seth is on fire, back yeah. in the lead, wow. rising from the Dude, my answer streak went away. <laughs> All right. How many field blower will most decks be playing just in general? I don't know why you One. didn't put zero. I can't yeah, imagine it dropping. I couldn't imagine zero it dropping. Do any of you guys think zero? 
No, yes, I still I thought, I thought about it for a second. I don't think I most decks will be decks playing any field blower. I mean, I, I feel like LAIC kind of showed that decks started to play field blower again because there weren't for a while, and then basically everything was playing well, one. And I think with like Granbull and Shrines that... and like Lysander Labs, Choice Helmets, and Bicephalon and stuff, it just helps so much to have maybe a second field blower yeah like any deck that wants to like be hitting 180 on both cephalon or like zork like rock i think is easily um, gonna play too doesn't want to deal with and... weakness policy and zoro control like you play any deck playing garb and wants damage i thought one of you guys was gonna at least one of you guys was gonna say two so i'm surprised you all said one but ben said you wanted zero yeah it's what about in a deck that's not guardy <laughs> maybe maybe one zero to one. that's my answer okay that's a one all right all right yeah who will win roanoke and why is it team tdg um <laughs> uh, oh other because it's jimmy pendarvis oh, okay he's also on team tdg all right who said caleb, caleb yeah but you didn't put jimmy pendarvis here yeah, Jimmy, Pendarvis, Jimmy, 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 there's also Jimmy Pendarvis, Rukan, just like the rest of the squad. Yeah. Okay, if either of you guys are saying someone not in GDDG, you are literally. Yeah, so Caleb. Wait, I so... think Alex Metna will win. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll get DQ'd after top four. He already, yeah, took, he already, he already took down like, ARG. And then automatically get DQ'd. <laughs> just show up. Get DQ'd. <laughs> He'll spend all of his time at the guard broders like booth at <laughs> bottom tables. <laughs> in all seriousness, no. Uh, in all seriousness, I think Caleb's winning. Okay. All right, question nineteen. Yeah, what surprise deck do you think could do well at the event? <sighs> it, it's basically an other question, unless you're Seth. <laughs> I just picked three random decks. Wait, two people yeah. chose Septile. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly. After playing against a lot of, I haven't played it much myself, but after playing against a lot of Septa, I do think it has potential. Oh yeah. I think Septa is actually just not good. <laughs> All right, wait, Seth or Ben, you picked other. What other deck? Uh, good loss march. <laughs> good loss march. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> All right, and, and Ben, <laughs> just just well, go over like some Not a surprise deck though. I guess, you know, good Guardy is a surprise deck. I'd like to switch yeah. my. Good Guardy and good loss march. Those are my answers. Wait. Seth, what are you switching your answer to? Zoro control. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, man, true. It doesn't say you have to win, it just says it has to do well. Like, Seth, why do you think Septile is going to do well? So, I think that Septile, at least from, like, any decks that didn't, like, already do well at LAIC, is the best position in the meta. Mm-hmm. Because, like, freaking Magnezone's bad. <laughs> yeah. Zoro Pond yeah. doesn't hit, like, any numbers in the possible world. Um... Like, what else am I even supposed to, like, think of? And the last, but yet most important I question... I don't have the mental capacity to think of other decks, All so right. Septile. The most important question of the entire Kahoot. Which social media platforms are you following the Guard Rotors on? Oh. There, there wasn't enough space for the all of Man, the Man, why isn't there an all of the I know, above. there wasn't enough space for all of the above. <laughs> all right. All, all right. of them. Who, who put YouTube Guard Rotors? I put YouTube Garb Rotors. I should have put the fan page. Darn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my fan Charles wasn't even following your page. He was following the fan page for I was not following the your uh, official People Instagram in call either. Follow the fan page before the real page. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I followed I only in following the fan page. page. Well, I that... don't follow the Wait, why? Page. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, wait, wait. Just me. So, two of you guys chose Twitch, and speaking of Twitch, we're actually Twitch affiliates now. Pretty soon you could sub to us with oh, Seth's wait, favorite thing. Oh, wait, actually accepted? Uh, basically. Well, like, it's being, it's being, review, it's being reviewed right he now. I just sent in the application. Being reviewed. I sent He's the application in this morning. Um, but, what's it called? Uh, Seth, would you like to tell us about Twitch Prime? So... <laughs> if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it to your Twitch account, and from there you will get a free subscription to your favorite Twitch streamer every month. Which and is no obviously ads. the Garb Rooters. No, uh, uh they don't. Um, they don't. No ads on that channel. Freaking. 
I for someone who has Twitch Prime, I get ads. I got an email like in September. You don't that get said, ads on the specific channel you're subscribed to. Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's dumb. Cause like it used to be, you just got ad free viewing for all of Twitch, and now it's just for the one channel you're subscribed to. That's stupid. But I mean, what? Why are you watching another channel? This is the real question. Um, because. No, if it's that not the guard voters, it's wrong. Dang, why am I? No more questions to do. Like. <laughs> yep. So that's that's gonna wrap up this. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck at Roanoke, everybody. No, show who won. Oh yeah, who won the Kahoot? Hey. Darn, I got <laughs> So yep, uh, let's get the results. Yo, I, you guys yeah. need to. You got, I need to show the feedback. Oh yeah, I need to get feedback. Feeling sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gave it learning? all five. Recommended? Like, five point oh. Oh, somebody's feeling slightly happy. Come on, let's get this bread. Oh wait, we we got, already got all those responses. Okay. Well, thanks so much for coming out, guys. Hopefully. We'll all do good and not go one for a drop. And if we do go one for a drop, we're going to have our little booth at bottom tables where you can come into the Garbroders meet and greet. <laughs>